Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. How are you? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a review and swatch video on these brand new Sephora favorites kits. Yes, I hooked it up. But I had to get them, honestly. Like, I, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even have to explain. You guys, like, yeah, we get it. We get it. Um, so basically, on Friday, I actually reviewed the Sephora favorites Give Me More lip kit. I did arm swatches and lip swatches. I shared with you guys my opinions and thoughts on this. I'll have that video linked down below if you guys want to check that out so i'm not going to go too in depth with this actually not even going to review that specifically here because like i mentioned i already reviewed that but in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the sephora favorites baby let's glow outside little kit which looks just like this really cute 42 dollars us 55 dollars canadian and then I'm going to review the Sephora Favorites Makeup Must Haves Kit, which retails for 48 US, 63 Canadian. And I will go ahead and have both of these items linked down below in the description box. If you guys do purchase through the links, I do make a small commission and it is very, very much so appreciated. Let's go ahead and get started with the Sephora Favorites Baby Let's Glow Outside Baby. So here's what the Baby Let's Glow Outside Kit looks like. And here we are getting a total of six items. Three of them being full sizes and three of them being deluxe sizes. I would say that the makeup bag is pretty cute. I like the, the color, the gold color. It has a nice, very silky, smooth feel. And it's the type that you can kind of wipe it down if it gets dirty. Open it up just like that and all of the goods are situated in there nicely. Okay, so the first full size item we get in here is from ABH. This is the Liquid Glow Highlighter in Perla. Here you guys can see what the shade looks like swatched. It is beautiful. It's like a light champagne-y, opal -y kind of color. Love it. Next up, we get a full size of the Laura Mercier Caviar Shadow Stick in Rose Gold. This is retractable, which makes it really easy to use. Here you guys can see what the shade looks like. Love it. Very pretty. Just, It's a perfect, nice gold color. This is a one swipe swatch situation kind of thing. You swipe it on and go for the day. Next up, we get this baby hair, or I should really say teenager, honestly, because it's like medium size. So basically, we get their most iconic bronzer in Laguna and then their most iconic, iconic blush in Orgasm. I actually oh, pretty much finished off a small baby size of this. I'm happy to have it again in my life. And then Orgasm, I think it's one that I decluttered in my declutter video. I knew I would get it in, uh, in some way or some form once again. So here it is. I guess it was bound to be in my life. I do love both of these powders. They look gorgeous on the skin. They blend out like a dream and they're just, they're stunning on okay and then here you guys can see that's the bronzer and then that is the blush i'm not going to say they're the most pigmented powder products ever but they build up gorgeously on the skin very seamless and they look effortless on this is probably the most exciting little guy that's included in the kit for me personally it's the huda beauty silk balm hydra plumping lip balm how cool it doesn't even look like a lip balm it's like a regular tradition liquid lipstick kind of like packaging type of thing <laughs> I don't want to X this. Anyway, this right here is in the shade Blush. Let's see what it looks like. It feels very silky. Has a, it barely has any hint of color, really. So nice. I have to try this on. Next up, we get a full size of the Sephora Collection Shadow. This right here is in the shade Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle Twinkle. Here you guys can see what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Great day-to-day -day color. It's just it's a nice like champagne -y opal color similar to like the abh highlighter the last item that's included in here is from milk makeup and this is one of their highlighter sticks in lit let's watch this here so you can see that is what it looks like it's a nice light um highlighter shade definitely um one that could be worn on those natural days and i'm gonna try in the huda beauty silk balm balm it doesn't have a good smell though i don't know yum it feels fantastic. It has more of like an oily feel. Very nice. But you could see that I have a little bit of like lipstick on here. So I just wipe it off and then uh, put it back. Usually I'll do that with like lighter lip glosses or like pretty much clear lip glosses. Because then if I don't, then it changes the color of the product. But all right, just making sure lipstick is not on my teeth because that's usually what happens. <laughs> Story of my life. I will tell you guys, I'm actually very underwhelmed with this one. Uh, I feel like they literally always, always, always include the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold or Gold in their Sephora Favorites kit. And as much as it's a nice product, I would kind of like to see something else. You know what I mean? Like, you're making a Sephora Favorites kit. Put something else in here. Why are you putting the same stuff every single time? And also about the Liquid Glow Highlighter here from ABH. That's an item that we constantly see at TJ Maxx. So for me, it's not really like a full-size value kind of thing. Meaning like... 
yeah, on Sephora is what, $24 or $34, but at TJ Maxx it's $7.99. So I don't really consider it like a bang for my buck situation. Um, also for the other full size product, for like it's, it's like the Sephora Single Shadow. I hear where you're coming from, but could you include a different full size product? You know what I mean? And then also about the Milk Makeup Lit Highlighter. Amazing highlighter for those natural days, but also with that, they constantly include that in here. The only exciting thing for me personally was the Huda Beauty Balm and then the NARS Duo, which I, I feel like for the NARS Duo, a lot of you guys are going to be like, yeah, we're over that too, because with that, they also somewhat include it a lot. But for me, I'm actually needing the Laguna Bronzer anyway, and then the blush is back in my life. So I would say for the $42 US and the 55 Canadian, it's a bit steep. I could kind of see this one going on sale. It's really hard to say what will go on sale and do I know for sure? I really don't honestly, but if I had to choose one kit that will go on sale from the Sephora favorites kit they released, I'm pretty sure I want to say this will end up going on sale. Mark my words. Okay, now moving on to this Sephora favorites kit. This is the makeup must-haves kit. I have to say just by looking at the products on the picture here, Pretty good. And for the for the price tag, 48 US, 63 Canadian. No, no bad at all. It does include eight products in total, four of them being full sizes and four of them being deluxe sizes. My neighbor's looking at me. I'm pretty sure she's thinking like, what in the world? She never spoke to me in her life. Anyways, you open this up just like that, just like the lip kit. And here is what it looks like on the inside. Everything is situated beautifully. This set has got it going on. Yeah. I'm happy with this one. In case you guys just want to see a little bit of a close-up, here is what we're working with. Okay, so first up, we get a deluxe size of the Urban Decay All Nighter Mist. I've gone through a few full sizes of these, a few little ones of these. Probably one of my favorite high-end mists ever. No fuss, makes your makeup last for forever. I, there were times that I applied this, slept with my makeup, and it looked pretty good the next day. Like, I would be okay going out like that, you know? So I'm actually happy to have this little one in my life. I, I, don't, ha I don't think I have a full size or a deluxe size in my presence. So... Yay, very, very good. The next deluxe size product we have here is from Too Faced, and this right here is the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. Love that the packaging is the same as the full size, so it really feels like you are getting a bang for your buck, you know? I think I own this, or I, I think I used to own it and I decluttered it. I definitely use it in my lifetime. <laughs> I don't really like it because it's mattifying, and you guys know I'm all about that do life. I have dry skin, so I definitely don't look for mattifying products. It did mattify my face, so I'm assuming if you have oily skin, you probably will enjoy this. Next up, we get a deluxe size of the Smashbox, the original photo finish smooth and blur primer so even though this is a deluxe size you get a decent amount in here occasionally we'll find this at tj maxx but i think it's still somewhat pretty exciting to get in here i think this would be great if you have oily and or dry skin next up we get a deluxe size of the kvd beauty tattoo liner in trooper this is an item that they actually include a lot in this or four favorites kits so in a way i would love for them to include maybe a different like liquid liner but this at the end of the day is actually a really good one it's pretty black from what i remember and um i really do like it next up we get a full size of the abh brow wiz in medium brown super cool because it's actually the shade that i typically wear i love this i think i've gone through at least 15 in my lifetime i'm almost i'm actually almost finished or finished with the one that i'm currently using so this, this is perfect one second um also i know this isn't a universally flattering shade but i feel like because the undertone is such a good shade if you have lighter brows you can just use this in a lighter way or if you have deeper brows i'm pretty sure it could still kind of somewhat work or you can use it in conjunction with other brow products as well but i love this and i'm happy to have it again in my life Next up, we have a, a full size, yes, a full size of the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. They're releasing this new collection for holiday 2020. And basically, they have this mascara there with the limited edition packaging. And it's like, oh my goodness, yum. Um, and I can't, so I can't wait to pretty much pick that up. But I'm happy to have this in the kit. It's a really nice, amazing high-end mascara. Very black, coats your lashes beautifully, doesn't flake, adds volume, length, everything you want. Um, I think I've gone through at least two or three small ones and I, and I think one full size. Next up, we get a full size of the NARS blush in Orgasm. So I'm not gonna swatch this because I don't wanna be wasteful, but it's pretty much the same, same shade that we got in the duo in the Baby Let's Glow Outside kit. We did find this a few times at TJ Maxx. It's still a pretty iconic shade, so it's exciting to get in here, but I think to myself, like maybe I would have loved to get maybe like a Tower 28 blush or... I don't know, one of the Patrick Ta blushes, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want to feel like products are being recycled in a way, even if this is a really good product, you know what I mean? Then the final product that we get in here is this from Huda Beauty. This is a matte lipstick in First Kiss. I've never tried um, this formula, so very thrilled about this one. 
Okay, so here you guys can see what it looks like. That was pretty much with one swipe. It has full on pigmentation. I love like the um, more cool toned brown. It's so pretty for the fall. So here's what first kiss looks like on the lips. It's really, first of all, the color is so stunning. And then in addition to that, the quality feels uh, like it just feels so good. It feels like a um, one second mousse like lipstick, which I've never tried. I only had that with liquid lipsticks, but not an actual lipstick. So. Wow. Lately, I've been really impressed with Huda Beauty. I'm like really into her stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That was everything that was included in the makeup must-haves kit. I definitely think that it's still a better value than the Baby Let's Glow Outside kit. We have even more standouts in here. So if I had to recommend one from either, from either this one or the other one, I would definitely say this one wins for me. I actually also really did like the Sephora Favorites Give Me More Lip Kit, even though this pretty much just includes nudes and reds. I still think that we got a nice selection of solid pieces in here that is worth the 45 US and 59 um, Canadian. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the review and swatches on the brand new Sephora Favorites kits. Absolutely love to know what you guys have to say about these if you're going to pick them up if you're skipping out on them if you're waiting for more holiday goodness to come out let me know um and yeah i'll speak to you guys in the comments below bye